Hello, my friends. May God bless all of you. May the Holy Spirit come upon all those who are interested, those who thirst and hunger for righteousness. Not the righteousness of men, but the righteousness that makes us deserving of God's blessings. The righteousness that comes through faith in the promises in the Word of God. And a faith that is practiced, not just any faith, but a faith that is put into practice. So you who are watching me now and say, Oh, wow, I've been in the church for a while and I still don't have the Holy Spirit. Or, I want to receive the Holy Spirit. What do I need to do to receive Him? And those who say, Oh, but I serve God. I work in the work of God. I do this, I do that. But you don't have the certainty, the conviction, the personal conviction that you have the Holy Spirit. So pay attention to this good news here. Words that came out of the mouth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pay attention to what is necessary in order for us to receive the Holy Spirit. Jesus said like this, if anyone loves me, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word. So, whoever loves the Lord Jesus keeps his word, which means they observe his word. They practice his word. 24 hours per day for the rest of their life. So, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word or he will practice my word. And my Father, pay attention, pay attention. And my Father will love him. Which means that if anyone loves me, keeps, observes and practices my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Have you imagined that? Just think with me a little bit, just a little. Imagine you being a person that you perhaps keep the word of God in some aspects of your life. For example, you don't steal, you don't commit adultery, you are not corrupt, you are not that person who, whom people point their finger at and say, look, what a hypocrite, look at that. They go to church with their Bible under their arms, but at home they are like a little demon. In church they may be like a saint, but here they are like a little demon, bad character and all. So you pay attention. You even go in church. You may even serve God as an assistant, as a, a pastor, an auxiliary pastor, a bishop, or whatever. You can be whatever. However, if you do not observe the Word of God, then you don't love Jesus. And if you don't love Jesus, then how can you receive His Spirit? How can you receive Him and with Him the Father as well? Because when a person loves Him, He guarantees. He says, if anyone loves me, my Father will love Him. And we will come, so Him and the Father, and obviously the Holy Spirit, and we will make our home with Him. So I'm not here to condemn anyone. I'm just here to teach what God has been teaching me. I'm here to speak what God speaks to me. I know that no one is perfect. We all make mistakes. But God does not demand perfection from anybody. The only thing He requires is that 
the person will observe his word. So to observe the word of God, for example, just a little example here. You are someone faithful to church, faithful to Jesus and all, but within you there is a little grudge against someone. That's it. You are going against the word of God. If Jesus commanded us to pray even for our enemies, have you imagined that? But is it hard? No, it's not hard. It's not hard because it depends on you speaking, you wanting it. So, so and so wants to hurt me. So and so did witchcraft against me. That other person destroyed my marriage. Oh my God, I prayed for them. I pray that you make them happy. I forgive that person. That's all. Just the fact of you speaking, praying for the person that you have a grudge against, you are going to be free and ready to receive the Holy Spirit. So that's how it works. This is the word that we have to keep. If we received forgiveness from God, then what is our obligation towards those who are around us, who hurt us, who try to harm us and to cause us problems. So we have to just obey. When the person obeys, then they are proving to themselves, to themselves and to God that they love him because that's what Jesus commanded us to do. So whoever loves me, keeps, observes, practices my word, my commandments, you say, well, Bishop, I don't have such problem with keeping grudges against others. My problem is something else. My sins are others. So whatever your sins are, you have to turn your back on them to show indeed that you love Jesus. Do you know what the water baptism means? Water baptism is the death and a better, the burial of the person who says, I believe in you, my father, and I don't want to live for myself anymore. I want to live to do your will. So when the person decides to turn their back on the world, to their vain ways, to their personal opinions, they turn their back for example, to their personal desires, their personal dreams, their personal projects, they turn them back on all these things and they start to follow the Word of God every day, day after day after day. Of course, you won't understand the whole Bible, but whatever you understand, you practice. That's it. God is not requiring from you to be someone who has a vast knowledge of theology or of his word. No, he just wants you that in the little that you can do to show your appreciation, your love towards him, it's enough. Do it and you receive the Holy Spirit. So today in all the universal churches of the kingdom of God, we are going to work for people to receive the Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of resurrection. Today is the Sunday, the Sunday of resurrection, isn't it? That's what people celebrate. Perhaps you who are watching me right now, you need to be resurrected. You still haven't resurrected. You are still dead, dead in your sins and transgressions. So, if you want, today, in all the universal churches of the kingdom of God, in a, a little bit, I'm going to be here in the Temple of Solomon at 7 a.m. sharp, and at 9.30 a.m., Bishop Renato Cardoso will be here, and at 6 p.m., I will also be back there with you for those who are seeking for the truth and that this truth may set you all free. May God bless you all. And don't forget, come thirsty for God's righteousness. Come thirsty to receive the spirit of resurrection, the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.